What is going on guys and girls? My name is Ryan Roots. This is episode number two in a series that we're doing, trying to turn $2 into $20,000 in a month. If you missed the first episode, I'll link it somewhere up here for you and make sure to subscribe to the channel because this is an ongoing series. So just a quick update for you from the last video. I did list some stuff on eBay and three of those things already sold. That Newmark audio mixer that I picked up at that garage sale for $2.50, I put that up on eBay and it sold the same day. It sold like two hours later. I made sure to package that up really well, protect it, bubble wrap it, and put it in a box. And after eBay fees and shipping, we're left with a total of $48.56. Nice flip. Next is that toner that I picked up at the thrift store for $7.50 worth of quarters. Same thing on that. I listed it on eBay and it sold the same day. If you can pick up printer toner, it's one of the best things. I call it black gold because it's one of the best things you can flip online. And the cool thing about sealed toner is I just slapped the label on. I've never had an issue shipping it that way and I've shipped literally hundreds of these things. So after fees and shipping on that sale, we're left with a profit of $33.87. And then lastly, not as much profit in this one, but it did also sell the same day. That symbol picked it up at the garage sale for $8. It was super light, so I just wrapped it up and put it in a light box and it still shipped first class, one pound. And after fees and shipping on that one, we're left with a profit of $22.88. So now we're building up some steam. We have a nice little chunk of change to work with. We have $344 to go and find some more stuff to flip. I'm almost ready to start looking at some wholesale, but not just yet. So let's go see what the thrift store has for us. Subscribe. It is 10.07 AM and this Goodwill retail store just opened. Wow, the sky is pretty today. Let's go see if we can't find some stuff to flip online. Subscribe, let's go. Screen printed tag, but I love the graphic on this Chucky print. Just in time for Halloween, I'm gonna throw this up on whatnot and I guarantee you it sells for good money. Another screen print attack, but I have a friend who plays Destiny and I know that this was a limited print that they put out to help support the damage from wildfires in Australia. So I think that this is a rare print. Vintage tag, extra large. I don't know what this graphic is. It says for your ears only. I think it's a parody. It says Rhino on it. I'll have to do some more research, but for a vintage t-shirt with a cool graphic, I'm gonna grab it. 2018 on this Nickelodeon long sleeve but I love this print. It is screen printed. It's got all the characters on it. It's long sleeve with the Nickelodeon sleeve hit. I think that this is another one that should do, I would say at least 15 bucks on whatnot. On a Suka Tiger in great condition, black leather and suede. I'll throw these up on eBay and they should sell well. So $19 spent on four items, some newer stuff. So I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna do. A little bit of a gamble, but for $19, not too bad. Boom, there we go. She's listed for $54.97. Now we wait. Ooh, I have some incredibly good news. So my buddy Chris was out working in an area that we don't usually go to, and he told me that there is a huge community garage sale this week. We love community garage sales, and that could be a good opportunity for us to keep flipping this money into more and more money. So stay tuned in today's video because we are gonna go to some yard sales, but first, Let's go hit some thrift stores. Oh, by the way, those shirts that I thrifted yesterday did sell on whatnot. So I'll give you the totals of those when I get back home. And also speaking of my buddy, Chris, who told me about that community garage sale coming up. So the last time that I went sourcing with him, we went to a flea market and he found this item, a helmet for $20 and it just sold on eBay for $150. Chris might be a better reseller than me. I went looking through the same racks for more Lily Pulitzer like I found in the last video, but unfortunately I didn't find any this time. There was this sealed blank media which can do well, but they wanted three bucks a piece, which is too much. So I put them back. I did find this pair of Skechers flip-flops, which I thought would have good comps, but the comps weren't great. This is a great buy. Oh, it sold for, was that $9? Amazing wifey. Thank you so much. Oh, that's cute. Appreciate you. We're at nine bucks and sold to I sell shit. Thank you so much. Yay. Sold to I sell shit. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Sold for $15. All right, so some eBay shipping to do today. Like you saw, that helmet sold for $150. This is that helmet. It has a little dust bag with it. So we'll wrap that up nicely, put it in a box and get it shipped out. Also an update from last video, the TI-83 Plus. 
sold for $10. As I told you, I put batteries in it and tried to test it and it wouldn't turn on. So I listed it as four parts of repair. And funny enough, it sold to a subscriber. So thank you, Chad, for buying this. He said that he is gonna be starting a YouTube channel showing resellers how to do like quick fixes to fix up electronics and sell them for more money. So I'm glad it's going to a good home. I only paid $2.50 for it, so not a big deal there. And this counts towards that $20,000 goal. So chipping away. And speaking of chipping away, you saw those four shirts that we sold on Whatnot yesterday. So after fees and shipping and all that good stuff, we're left with $55.21. So add that to the total. And we now have roughly $400 to go and spend at garage sales this weekend. So that'll be the next thing. Let's go garage sailing. Right in the state sale. Clothing, $2 each a piece. Um, there's a bunch of clothing in here. I'm just pulling anything I see that's vintage. There we go. Let's go. 1992 Harley Davidson XL. I just grabbed anything that had an old tag, basically. I haven't even looked at the graphics yet. Isn't that cool? It's a Seahawks jersey. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, yeah, dog. That's a big one. Nice. Another one. <gasps> oh, that's all wow. embroidered. Oh my gosh, no. Stop. Amazing. Oh my gosh, not the towel. Right? Yeah, grab. Whoa. We're buying it. That is cool. It's what so tag? old. Look at San Francisco. What? Designer Helene Robertson. We have to buy it. It's yeah, too that's... cool. This one's good. This is only worth like 10 bucks, but I wanted to show everybody because it's so cool. 1965, like original Adams family. So Adams, Adams and Evil. I didn't even know Adams family was that old. That's how much I know. Look how cute. It has a piece of glass in front of me, but it's handmade. That's cool. I love these little frames. They go so nicely with big frames. Yeah. You know? Well, that went great. I can't believe it, actually. $72 spent total. Some of this stuff I'll use for the uh, the challenge. Most of the, the vintage t-shirts. I might even run a what not show up at the warehouse today. We'll see. Just a quick one, but yeah. some good stuff. Some vintage towels. We did um, really well. That dress, you got to research. I know, I have to you research know? this dress, it's so interesting. Yeah. Let's go. What are they called, fingerlings? Fingerlings. Shout out all the people that made millions of dollars selling this. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? First stop, gift for a friend fanny pack for an alley <laughs> and a mirror for also an alley for the house for alley no for the house for, that's for me that's for the house for alley all right we're down eight bucks <laughs> i would negotiate to you on the prices of the game there was sweet destiny oh, beer taps. do you want any of this i know i like the that's beer so taps. cool how much are the beer taps uh i do five on most of them and then Probably like the jailhouse or a couple of the more intricate ones. Like I probably ten mm -hmm. on these unless you unless you did like if you I'll wanted all of them, I'd do you a deal on all okay. of them. Cool. Um, they're just ones that didn't make it into my collection, so gotcha. I need to get rid of. Them. <laughs> oh, there's oh, don't oh, we all know. Super yeah. Nintendo too. Do you have your Nintendo still? Dang. Is this yours from your childhood? That's awesome. It is. Yeah. yeah. I just don't play it anymore. Like I moved yeah. it out, tested it last night, and. I, I, bought, I built a PC, so I really... You're fine. Yeah, I... Mm. Have you seen the Raspberry Pi for yeah. people? Yeah. We actually, yeah. we have one. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like I know. Pie. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. And you can put it in anything. Oh, yeah. Because it's just... Yeah, I well, mean, it's the brains. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can literally put it in anything. Yep. It's so cool. I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think we could do like a big bundle because I, I like a lot of this stuff. Totally. <laughs> so I'm Just thinking, bunch, yeah, I'm thinking these five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, all these okay. games, these games, and this. Okay. And the Nintendo. Yeah. All right. And then you so, said it tested it and it works. It does work. Okay. Cool. Yep. So if we did 100 on the NES, uh -huh. 75 on this stack, 
which gives you like a 15-ish, 20-ish, I think, dollars I took off. Yeah, if oh. I do 75 uh -huh. on that, that's like 25 off. Okay. And then I would give you these five bucks a piece, and it would be an even 200 for this, this, and all these. Done. That's cool. exactly what I was going to say. Perfect. Okay. 200 bucks. Yeah. I like round numbers too. So. <laughs> Let me get a bag. Easy deal. Absolutely. Let me make sure I have 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took a blind shot on all that stuff. I mean, I know that there's value in Nintendo games and obviously in that classic Nintendo, but I didn't like look up recent comps or anything like a bad reseller, <laughs> but paid 200 bucks for everything. I feel like that was, I think it was a decent deal. We'll find out soon, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so I know I paid $200 for that Nintendo stuff and those tap handles, which may seem like a lot, but I think that that's Nintendo system together. I'm gonna take the Nintendo games and the system and do it as a bundle. And we're gonna list it for probably $190 on eBay. And then some of those other games also ended up having really good comps. So I'll show you some of those comps as well. But the other cool thing is the tap handles. Some of those tap handles are worth a lot of money, like $40 up to $100. So I think the $200 that I spent on that system and the tap handles, I think we've got about $500 worth of value there. So. I think those are pretty good buy. All right, back to garage sales. What you got? Ah, fuzzy balls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a North Face backpack. It's got Amazon. An Amazon on it. North Face backpack? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's only five dollars. No, I'm not gonna take it. Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you want any of this? No, I shouldn't, but yeah. I mean, I do, but. How about, I'll give you five bucks for the backpack and can she take one of those or something? Absolutely. Okay. Get your fuzzy balls. Get your fuzzy balls. <laughs> oh. Oh, she would love she these. Would love it. How much is it? A dollar. A dollar. Should we get it for her? Sure. Ooh, that's cool. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she's in her glory bag. She's so bad. Thank How much are the... T-shirts. Are all the Crocs for sale or are those yours? Yep. They are? They are? What, what sizes? Uh, oh, the little seven, one and six. Those are tall. Alright, who's the Aries in the family? <laughs> you have sevens and six. Oh wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure these are my size. No, I you? need these. Oh, these Get out of town. Oh. oh, whoa. I've never put those in my Crocs and I feel a little weird about it. Yeah, these are little mermaid ones. Oh my God. Those are awesome. Babe, I need these. Well, ask how much they are. Oh yeah, how much are your Crocs? <laughs> um, I bought a bunch of them. <laughs> All the ones that are my size. I don't like sport oh, five of these. Oh my God. Whoa. Uh, okay, yes. <laughs> that is obnoxious. I love how obnoxious it is. Get out of here. All right, so we'll get all of those. Mm -hmm. You said 40. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. Go say hi, Maxie. Go hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, I you're so big. They have a lot of colors now. Hi. Yeah, he's friendly. Hi, buddy. You're so big. Hi. What kind of dog is he? Oh. St. Bernard and Poodle. No. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, what? A, what a cool mixture. Hi, yeah. sweetie. No shit. St. Bernard and Poodle. A lot oh. of drooling, but no <laughs> shit. That's a good boy. Yeah. Seen a St. Bernard wow. Poodle. So, what do they call a St. Bernard Poodle? St. Bernard Doodle. St. Bernard Doodle. Did you make that That's up? Awesome. Oh, yeah. okay. That's sick. Oh, just a little mark there, but. It's vintage. I could wash out. Oh my god, I had one of these. <gasps> no. <laughs> it's fur lot. Oh, is that the brand of these? This fur one is. I saw one once when we were thrifting, and I was like, it's the jellies from when uh. we were kids. I have a question before we drive off. Would you do any lower for this purse, for the furla purse? 50. 50? Go, Ellie, go. She's grabbing that furla bag for 50 bucks. Is it real? How much is the bag? I give it to you for seven. Seven? Yeah. Oh, five. That's okay. My five? You said five. Gotcha. I'm not 
100% if it's real or not, but for five bucks, it is worth the gamble. It's worth the gamble, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the Furla made in Italy bag here, it's a red, like sparkly Furla bag. I didn't know much about it. Allie knew what it was. We looked it up and then Allie went back and bought it. She got it for $50. I mean, it is in unused condition. It doesn't have the hang tags on it, but I'm pretty sure we could still sell it as new without tags. And honestly, like the sparkly colors seem to do a lot better online. So I think we can ask anywhere from 120 up to $180 for this bag. So maybe we get 140 bucks for it. Who knows? And then the North Face Supreme bag for $5. So here's what I did. I paid another $2 to an app that does legitimacy checks on these things and it came back fake. <laughs> so paid $5, bit of a gamble. I didn't think the little bags like this were fake very often, but I guess there are fakes out there. But again, it was worth the $5 gamble. And then lastly, I have set up the whatnot show for the 10 other items that we bought recently. So I'm gonna go into the warehouse and run that show, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how it did. Ford Coop, this is all embroidered, nice hat. And that's sold to NC Thrifting for $10. Thank you so much, appreciate you. This next one is really cool. Great condition too. We're at 21, we're at 30. Thank you to Shaverty for taking that one down for $34, thank you so much. Brian, can I get a hoo yeah. <laughs> thank you all for taking the time to come to the little pop-up show. Fine Curate takes that one down for $11, nice buy. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, sniper, Mike wants a snipe. They're robbing you. <laughs> it's okay. If people can get good deals, I love it. I love it. And Mike is taking that one home. Thank you so much, man, for $48. Great buy, love it. Hey, so that Whatnot show did really well. Some people got some good deals, but we still made some good money on this stuff. By the way, if you're not following us on Whatnot, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Please download the app and follow us. We're gonna be doing lots and lots of sales on there. And as you saw, we're gonna be selling a lot of the stuff that we get for this $20,000 flip challenge. Now, some of this stuff we are still listing on eBay, like the Nintendo stuff and the bag and those crazy Margaritaville Crocs which we should get like $150 for. So there is some stuff being listed on eBay. By the time this video comes out, that stuff will be up on eBay, but probably not sold yet. But the stuff on Whatnot did sell. And now all together, if you add up like all the money that we've made for this challenge, it's just over 650 bucks, like $663 or something like that. But if you add up all the rest of the stuff that we have on eBay, we're, I would say we're definitely over $1,000 in cash in and product to sell. So started with $2, almost at a thousand dollars and i think i am now ready to make a wholesale purchase so that'll be in episode number three subscribe to the channel i hope you guys are enjoying this series and we'll see you next time Mwah. love you bye